All right, so I decided to do a quick little video on what I was uh, talking about with the style editor and the uh, blade color selector. So um, on the f on this phone, it's uh, the colors are being super saturated. They're not actually what they look like on my screen. A little bit more dull, but uh, just to get you a, give you the idea. So here we have your style editor. Uh, you got your color options, light cyan, floral white, whatever. But let's say you went on Google and you uh, checked out some lightsaber scenes in a movie and you really like uh, the ESB, uh, this color in particular. So how do we get this exact color um, onto here? So you go here to colors, you pick, on, you click on the color and this is a stock color as it's pretty close, but it's not it. Um, so what you want to do here is you can either more or less guesstimate around here or you can hear, hit show colors. And with this show colors, you click on the little dropper icon. Okay, place that into somewhere around where you think is a nice shade of blue. So let's start off with here. And you can see you clicked it this turned a different shade and then now this is matching that and then you can fine tune it you can go and um, click on different parts of that you can save this on one of your palettes over here um, note over here I've already made some adjustments for like uh, Obi-Wan so there's different Obi-Wan so like this this one is more Phantom Menace uh, this one is more like Rebels and or that one's more like Rebels, and this one's uh, like A New Hope, is what I was looking at in the pictures. So let's let's pick a green one, for instance, or something else. Um, let me see here. I had a green one. Um, or the cyan. We can do the cyan one. So go back to colors go to show colors and get your dropper and you want to go and hover over the cyan part click on an area on the cyan that you'd like and now your blade more or less matches this picture and again you can fine-tune it you can make it lighter right you can make it brighter lighter whatever so that is how you make the um, the color and then over here it shows up the RGB pattern to make life even easier let's go that color is already going to be there um, we're gonna go to one of these templates specifically this one it's pretty simple um, so what you do is you go on to the um, blade color which is right here base color blue right and you just click on the color that you created and that's it it changed it to the RGB setting and you click out over here and now here you have your complete code so you can click that hit copy I like to just do things twice the department of redundancy department and then you can grab that code and put it in your um, config folder so let's try this out over here um, for this first one for instance uh, style I already made a cyan on this one so it doesn't really matter so we'll go here where it says style PTR and just go all the way right before the last coma or comma sorry not coma <laughs> and uh, you just highlight that and you paste the new code Great, now you have your new code there. And uh, see if it works, you go to your Arduino setup, click the OK and verify and just wait until it compiles it. Hopefully everything matches up. Give it a little minute or two. This is something I just was playing around with and there you go. So it's ready to go. So now you have your um, the blade color that you that you want and uh, hope that was helpful for you guys